morning everyone welcome back to my channel how is everybody doing today today i am going to take you along with me for two days of eating so it is starting to get nice here like i had said in my last couple videos and since i started making those smoothies that's what I craved as soon as I woke up today. I don't even feel like coffee, honestly. I just feel like a nice cold smoothie. So that is what I'm going to have for my first meal. And I will show you how I make my low carb smoothies. You guys, this is so good. Mmm, the mocha makes it really good. That's really good. So I used um, the mocha protein powder that I had today. I do have a couple packets of the vanilla still, um, but I thought I would just change it up. This is going to be my new summer favorite. I said that in a few videos prior um that i had first made this smoothie but it's what i craved first thing this morning when i woke up so i will always have um the link down below for my teeny greens and i also will have it up on the screen as well too saves you 15 or 20 percent depending on what your total amount is but these are the greens that i use and i feel like they are wonderful i use them in my smoothies and it doesn't even taste any different whatsoever and like I said, some smoothies have always been a favorite of mine as well too. So now I can make it low carb. I got myself ready because I do work today at three o'clock and it is almost two. So I do have to take off here quite soon. I got carried away working on YouTube and working on my laptop. So I will show you what I will be eating actually for my supper. Um, and I'll show you my energy drink. And if I have anything else, I will put it in this vlog. But this may be a three-day vlog just because today was rushed i i've never been so rushed i literally started up um doing things on my computer and before i knew it i had to take a shower and get ready for work so i am off to work so i will see you guys in the next clip all right it is absolutely gorgeous outside it is 15 degrees celsius so i am going to drink this on my way into work so i am working tonight actually quite late i am working from three until closing which is actually 9 30. so i won't be home actually for the rest of the day i took that one meal with me and i also took some of um chocolate covered popcorn they're pretty high even for net carbs honestly so i'm not sure if i'll eat them but honestly i wouldn't order them again i haven't even tasted them but i don't think i would order them again just because they are so high in net carbs so i kind of just want to eat them and get them out of the house because i feel like i'm gonna eat the whole bag honestly <laughs> So anyways, I am going to take off here and drive to work and I will see you guys when I get to town and in the next clip. All right, I am stuck in traffic. There normally isn't a lot of traffic actually um, going into Medicine Hat, but they are doing construction on construction on the number one highway and we are at a stall. 
So hopefully I just make it in time to work. Um, and it, it's pouring rain. It is absolutely pouring rain in Medicine Hat and it's still nice. It's still 13 degrees, but literally 20 minutes ago, it was like so nice out. And now it's gloomy and raining in Medicine Hat. I'm just going to truck my way through this um, traffic and hopefully get to work on time. It is what it is, right? So I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, today I am going to make actually a little bit of a different coffee. I'm going to start, of course, with my instant coffee. If you haven't heard the story, I actually started on instant coffee last summer of 2020 when we went camping and I picked up this instant coffee actually from the dollar store and it is so good. I find it so nice and creamy compared to other coffee. Um, so I've been on that kick since last summer with the instant coffee. Also from the dollar store that I got camping last year was some sweetener. This is the sweetener that I have been using for the last year and I really, really like it. And today I'm actually going to make my coffee a little bit different. I am going to be making a mocha. So actually that is not the one that I want. This one is the one that I want. So this is just a different brand that I had found of peppermint for the skinny syrups. It's not necessarily the brand skinny syrups, but I did find this, I believe at Marshall's. So I am going to add a splash of the peppermint and I am going to have it with my perfect keto chocolate collagen. You guys know I always rave about collagen and how important it is. Um, Jimmy actually takes collagen as well too. I believe that 100% collagen is, collagen is important for overall health. So I always get the perfect keto collagen. I get it off of Amazon here in Canada. Um, I find it just a little bit more expensive if I do order through the website, if I order it from um, the US. So the link is always down below in my Amazon favorites that you can find for my collagen that I take. I use a half a scoop because it is fairly expensive. So um, I use a half a scoop every day and this probably lasts me, I think it's two months. I wanna say that there's 32 servings in here. Um, 20 servings per container. So I probably get about a month and a half out of this because I do use just a half of a scoop with my coffee. If I have a decaffeinated coffee at nighttime, which I have um, instant coffee for nighttime as well too, if I do decide to have a, have a coffee at night, it's always decaffeinated, but I do make it the exact same way as you're seeing right now. And of course, I always add the heavy whipping cream. I always um, use heavy whipping cream, especially for the extra fat. I know a lot of people on keto will have the bulletproof coffee. I tried the bulletproof coffee. I just wasn't a fan. So I always just kind of stuck to having my coffee this way and this is the way that I've been making it for a long time. Sometimes on occasion I will make an iced coffee but it just hasn't been and warm enough to be consistently making a nice coffee here yet anyways in southern Alberta in Canada. And then what I do on the side of our traditional coffee maker, I have a little foam frother mixer um, and that's what I use in order to mix my coffee. I love it because it actually it doesn't need uh, batteries or anything like that. It just plugs into the wall. Of course, it's like a, a normal coffee maker. And this coffee maker I actually got when we renovated. So this is the coffee maker that we got when we renovated probably about three years ago. It is the Ninja brand. I absolutely love Ninja brand. I have it for their blender, their coffee maker. I was going to get a Ninja for my air fryer, but I decided to go with a different brand just because of the reviews that I had seen with the air fryer that I have. But this is absolutely amazing. So just on the side, you can see it has the frother and it just flips out, flips back in. This actually detaches so that you can wash it. I throw it in my dishwasher usually after that 
I use it in the day and it's just the best. With this coffee machine, actually you can do um, a smaller cup, a bigger cup, a travel muck, a bigger travel muck, half a pot, and a full pot. And Jimmy loves it because he can make usually a half a pot at a time or even the extra large travel mug when it's just for him because I have been hooked on the instant coffee. But I have the link for this coffee maker down below. I got it off of Amazon as well too. And if you're looking for a new coffee maker, I highly recommend this one. I feel like it's going to last us a long time and brews really, really good coffee. Good morning, everyone. How is everybody today? I totally failed at yesterday's vlogging. I realized that it was just kind of like I feel like it was a hectic day, but it, it really wasn't. But I just feel like my whole day was kind of rushed. And that is honestly like a normal day for me. I try to record my videos on a day off or if I have like a morning off and I don't go into work until later in the afternoon, like three or five o'clock. But yesterday, the day, like I said in yesterday's vlog, it just got away from me. So I'm going to do another day of eating. I'll see how today goes as well. Um, I'm really not that prepared this week. I don't know what it is. Um, it's just been a very, very busy week. So I'm starting off by drinking my coffee and that mocha is so delicious. If you have not tried, having and making yourself a mocha at home. Highly recommend, um, especially with the collagen, um, the chocolate collagen, that is what makes the mocha because of course a mocha is mainly coffee and hot chocolate. Um, I don't know if I've even seen like a keto hot chocolate. They probably have some out there, um, but with my chocolate collagen, I use that in order to make my mocha and mix it with my coffee and it is really, really good. And the peppermint in there, it tastes like a peppermint mocha. So I absolutely love that. That's my go-to definitely at Christmas time. That's always the drink that I will be drinking during the winter months. It is, it is that good. I will be working today from nine until 5.30. So I will see what I eat today, to be honest. Um, I'm kind of drinking my coffee fairly early. I don't think I intermittent fasted from yesterday. I had my supper fairly early last night. Um, I think it was around like 4 o'clock, 4.30 when I was at work. Um, so maybe I have, maybe it has been that long because once I get home by 10 o'clock because it is a, about 20, 30 minute drive for me to get back home, it's after 10 o'clock. So I usually don't eat by the time I get home because that's just too late for me. Let's face it, I'll probably end up getting like a snack and a Diet Dr. Pepper from work because that is the one thing um, I do work, I always call it like a glorified convenience store, but it is um, on a military base. So that is what I am doing this morning. First at, at home before I go to work, I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and get some work done and then I will see you in the next clip. and for my lunch today I actually ended up bringing leftovers but I don't quite feel like having that meal quite yet um, so like I said in my previous clip I'm gonna have the meat and cheese and my diet dr. pepper this is kind of like my go-to whenever I'm at work because there isn't a lot of keto friendly options here at the store but I always tend to like the I don't get sick of this sort of stuff like especially meat and cheese I've had meat and cheese since like the very very beginning of my keto journey which has been coming up to two years october it'll be two years actually that i have been on keto so that has always been a go-to so if you are looking for ideas in gas stations when you're traveling i always say get like a diet pop and get some meat and cheese or some beef jerky just make sure that you're checking to make sure that that beef jerky is low low in carbs because some of them are quite high per serving so just make sure that you're checking that so i am going to have this and then i will show you guys what i brought for leftovers which i'll probably have i would say maybe within the hour or so all right everyone i am ready to have lunch it is 12 40 now and I'm having leftovers. So what I'm having for leftovers, I will show you in a second. 
is my um, Chinese meal that I make that is 100% keto. If you haven't seen it already, it is in my 10 minute meals uh, video. I will link that video up here in the cards. So all you have to do is just click on this link and it'll take you right to that video. But I will show you guys what I'm having. So this is what I'm having and this is my keto Chinese food. So this tastes almost exactly like obviously it's not exactly like let's be honest Chinese food is Chinese food right but this is the next best thing and it is 100% keto I get a lot of questions on where I get my noodles I will show you a picture on the screen of the kind of noodles that I use the brand is called new pasta I found mine at Nutter's here in Canada I have also seen them at grocery stores um, like a superstore in a safe way here in Canada but they are always in the natural section or the health food section um, just not in a cooler not in anything just literally on the shelf so that's where I find mine usually I buy mine all the time from Nutters though and it, it, they are so filling so I just made a stir fry um, if you guys go and click on watch the video in my that video actually is a really good meal and has a lot of quick um, keto meals for you guys that are busy and on the run or just like simple and easy recipes um, that is a good video but this here is so so simple and I made it in under 10 minutes and really really filling as well too so this is going to be kind of go with my meal number one because as you've seen I had the pepperoni and cheese and my I still have some of my diet Dr. Pepper here um, that I am working on as well too to have with my lunch so that is going to be classified as meal number one all right I am home from work and I am going to get started on my supper and I think what I'm going to have tonight is going to be I'm going to make a chaffle. I'm going to make a clubhouse chaffle. I've made chaffles a lot. I find them so good because they are so versatile. I use them as sweet chaffles, savory chaffles for breakfast, lunch, suppers. I use it a lot for my bun, um, for burgers. I use it for waffles for my sweet um, first meal of the day. I utilize chaffles a lot. So I always have my chaffle recipe linked down below. I actually type it out and write it out and I always have it linked in my description. So that is what I'm going to be making today and I'm going to make it clubhouse style and I think I'm gonna make something else. I found a recipe online today and I wanna give it a try. It sounds really, really good and seems really easy, but this is parchment paper that is fit exactly to my air fryer so it's going to help a lot on the cleanup so i'm going to lay that down first and then i'm going to cook my bacon and my bacon takes about eight minutes so i'm just going to start that and then by the time the bacon is done our chaffles should be done as well are all done um, I just have the, my chaffle maker over here I have the bigger one that makes four at a time so I cook three because I don't like to overfill it um, but if you guys don't have the single ones I got my single one that I started out with I got it off of Amazon so um, just if you're interested in that the link is also down below for that okay so what I'm going to do with my air fryer as well is I am going to actually, so I'm going to assemble my clubhouse sandwich a little bit later after those cool. But right now I'm just going to preset my air fryer to 350 because um, the next one, which is um, keto cheese garlic bread, that's what I'm gonna be making in my air fryer. So I am gonna wanna preheat that to 350. So let me just preheat that 350. So we are gonna to wanna to preheat it to 350 and I am going to get started on all the ingredients. I'm just gonna use a new one um, for, for my garlic bread. All 
All right, so for this recipe, I'm actually just going to use the same bowl that I used for my chaffle because it is pretty similar ingredients. So you are going to need one egg and I will also have this recipe linked down below. So hopefully it turns out and you guys can give it a try. It seems pretty easy to be honest. So I like easy. I'm just gonna make the one serving and it calls for a half a cup of the mozzarella cheese as well too with the egg. Then I'm going to need two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Um, they probably mean grated Parmesan cheese, but I have actually some shredded in my fridge, so that's what I'm going to be using. Two tablespoons of that, and also a half of a teaspoon, half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I just have garlic salt on hand, and I like garlic and I like salt so this is what I am going to be using but feel free to use the garlic powder and that that's it that is absolutely everything that you will need for this recipe so let's mix it all together and all right so there is a couple minutes before my air fryer is all done and um, warmed up to 350 so I just got some gloves and I did actually add some more mozzarella cheese and some more of the ingredients in order to make a serving for two because um, the serving for one used a half of an egg and I can't really do that. <laughs> so I just ended up making the, the, the whole recipe which is for two which is totally fine. Um, this seems like it's going to be pretty good. It essentially just is kind of like a cheese ball but we are gonna see how it tastes. So we are gonna form it into a ball itself as best as you can. And then we are just gonna put it in the air fryer just as is like in the shape of a ball. That's what the smell. Okay, I think we have to put in our air fryer thing, um, not when it's preheating. Okay, there we go. There's that, and then we are going to put it back in for 10 minutes. So I always make three just because I don't like it to overflow, but I am just going to keep one, and I usually freeze some of these as well. Um, so I will probably put this in the freezer. So while we are waiting for that cheese bread to be done, I'm just gonna make the clubhouse sandwich and I'm going to start with some mayo. I use the Hellman's mayo for everything. I've used it through my whole journey. And I'm gonna put it actually on both sides because when I put it on both sides, I feel like um, the sandwich, or sorry, that the chaffles don't get soggy that way. So I'm just going to put it a little bit on the both sides. Then I am going to add my shredded cheese. And I guess I don't have any chicken and that's gonna go with this because usually um, a true clubhouse has like the ham, chicken and bacon, but I just have the bacon and the ham. So I'm gonna leave that out. And I don't like tomatoes, so I'm gonna leave out the tomatoes as well, too. All right, then I'm gonna put my slice of ham. I'm just gonna kind of tear it apart into smaller pieces here. And my bacon, I'm just actually gonna use one slice of bacon. I like to tear mine apart. I usually actually slice it up, but today I'm just gonna kind of tear it apart into kind of bite-sized pieces. I find it just easier to eat that way. And then we are going to top it off with our lettuce. And that is it. Chaffle is really, really easy. Um, chaffle Clubhouse only takes a few minutes in order for your chaffle to be done. And it turns out amazing every time. This turns out to be so good. done. Ooh, interesting. 
All right, so let me take it out and I'm just gonna let it cool for a few minutes. And then I think what I'm going to do is just kind of slice it up. This has almost turned out to be a disaster, honestly, between um, the chaffle and making this cheese bread because one, I threw it away, but I burnt that. And as I was putting this away, I guess I had failed to read what it says right on the package. So <laughs> take it from me and don't put the baking paper inside. There's probably people watching like when I did that and then preheated it probably like cursing don't do that it's gonna start on fire um but learn the hard way so do not do that and also i don't know if you can really see i ended up burning myself as well too can kind of see that yeah it kind of stings right now too so it's been kind of a disaster from the get-go so hopefully everything that i made will turn out so let's slice up this cheese bread all right, and this is going to be my dinner for tonight. And I will have, I'm just gonna have like half of the cheese bread. I actually ended up cutting it into, I guess it's kind of four, six slices. And I'm just gonna have two of it because I feel like chaffles actually fill me up quite a bit. So, all right, everyone, it is almost nine o'clock. So yeah, my daughter just came by for a visit, had a bite to eat because she was working, finished supper and I am heading to bed, so we will see you guys tomorrow. And we're out. Peace. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. It is 8 a.m. and I am on my way to work. Um, I did board yesterday um, because yesterday, I worked both jobs. I worked um, seven to three at my first job and then I worked 5.30 to 9.30 at my other job. So I was totally bagged. I was so tired, it was ridiculous. And I'm really tired this morning as well. I worked from nine until three today and I did not bring anything with me. And after work, actually me and Zoe are going to see a medium for the first time. I've always wanted to see a medium all throughout like my last like adult life, pretty much. I was gonna say the last probably 15 years. I have always wanted to see a medium. And Zoe always has had an interest as well too, to see a medium. So there was an opportunity that came up and so I thought that we would go to one together for the first time. Tonight I'm going to order wings and I'm going to take them home because I won't be back home until probably like 5.30, 4 o'clock or 6 o'clock probably, 5.30, 6 o'clock. I probably won't be back home. And I feel like on my break from work, I get a half an hour today so I probably will just grab a meat and cheese stick. And then I think I'm gonna pick up wings to take home for supper tonight. I think I don't have any coffee with me today or anything. I think I'm just gonna fast and drink water until I have my first meal. So I will see you guys in the next clip. It is 20 after 7 p.m. now. Um, so I worked until three today. And after I was done work, I actually hung out at Winners for a little bit and did some shopping. Um, I did buy a couple things, actually a couple jumpsuits that I will show you a picture of one that I ended up getting. Super, super cute. I absolutely love it. I always wanted a denim jumpsuit. <laughs> And I love it because it's not like the color blue jean denim. I love it because it's yellow and I think it looks super, super cute. So I went and did some shopping after work and then we had our appointment with the medium. Because it was another busy day, I'm afraid. Um, this is what it's like most days for me. I know, like I said previously, I do try to arrange like a little bit more of a structural video, but I kind of wanted to do a, a vlogging video. Then I feel like vlogging kind of gets, like lets you inside my life a little bit and what I go through on a daily basis. Um, I did pick up supper, by the way. I have not eaten 
today I did have a monster drink um, for my lunch and I wasn't hungry I had my lunch at 11 o'clock and I was not hungry yet so I decided not to eat and then I thought I would eat after I got off of work at 3 then I ended up shopping and then our appointment was at 4 so I haven't eaten yet and I actually me and Zoe talked afterwards and I'm just heading home now and I ended up getting Jimmy a pizza and some wings and I got myself some wings so they are just sitting right beside me here and they're just plain wings they're um, not breaded or anything like that and there's eight of them but so that is it for today all I am doing when I get home is literally going to have supper and probably Jimmy and I will watch a movie I would say maybe and yeah I hope you enjoyed today and you know got a little bit of an insight and just to let you know that you can still stay keto even if you have a busy lifestyle um, you know on the go there's options everywhere there's options in convenience stores there's options for on the go in grocery stores there is always options and that is one thing that I kind of wanted to get across in these um, three days of vlogging is I wasn't really all that prepared this week I know I had um, I think it was one or two days that I had leftovers which was great so I always recommend meal prep and things that you can have for on the go I've mentioned hard-boiled eggs I've mentioned bacon um, to have ready and even those like if you can get your hands on like some keto bagels or even keto bread I know it's not the healthiest thing but guess what it's going to be better than binging on fast food so always remember that even though if it's dirty keto not the best ingredients but it is still keto as far as net carbs then you know what that's going to be your best bet and it's going to be better than reaching for that fast food or reaching for those chips and pop and chocolate bars and all the things that we shouldn't be eating because that turns into a roller coaster of binging right um so i think i'm going to close up the video here everyone and i will see you guys in the next video so don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so youtube can notify you when i upload a new video thanks you guys for watching